Hello everybody, welcome back to Storytime. Today I want to share with you a book, Good News Travels Fast. And we know that good news travels fast. What do we call this? The front cover, that's right. This is the spine. And this is the back cover. Very good. The author writes the words. The illustrator draws the pictures. Very good. And when we open it up, this is called the title page. And the title is Good News Travels Fast. Remember Joseph, the rich man who had a tomb that Jesus was buried in? So this is Joseph's garden and this is Sarah. The lilies in Joseph's garden stood radiant in the morning light as the gardener and his daughter opened the gate. Walking in, Sarah pulled the seeds from her bag and bent to plant them in the spring soil. Her father stopped to talk to a woman. Suddenly, he ran to the tomb, cut into a rock wall. Curious, Sarah jumped up and followed him. The tomb is empty, he cried. Jesus was buried here, but now he's gone. Well, what happened? Sarah asked. Mary just told me that Jesus had, has risen from the dead. She spoke with him a few minutes ago. Good news, good news, Sarah exclaimed. This is amazing. Sarah rushed out of the garden to find her friend. Rachel was tending the cows in a nearby stable. Good news, Jesus is alive. He has risen from the dead, Sarah declared. Are you sure, Rachel asked. Yes, answered Sarah. A woman named Mary saw him this morning. Rachel tossed an armful of hay into the manger. My mother told me about Jesus, she said. He slept in a manger when he was a baby. And right here's the manger. When the chores were finished, Rachel and Sarah carried a bowl of milk to Caleb's house. Good news, Jesus is alive. He has risen from the dead, announced Rachel. And there's the two girls carrying the bowl. Caleb. Surprised, Caleb looked up from the tablet where he was practicing his writing. And hopefully you boys and girls are practicing your writing too. People are saying that the prophets foretold his birth, he said. And when he was born, wise men followed a star to visit him, Sarah added. In a little while, Caleb went to the synagogue for lessons. And that's the Jewish temple. Let's see, there are the boys. Sitting down next to Zeb, he whispered, Good news! Jesus is alive! He has risen from the dead. Do you remember that Eli told us that? When Jesus was 12, he astounded everyone in the temple with his understanding of the scriptures. And when he grew up, Zeb added, his followers called him teacher. After school, Zeb found his brother in the carpentry shop. Good news, he shouted over the noise. Jesus is alive, and he has risen from the dead. Do you think he is the Messiah? Seth put down his hammer. Perhaps so. Think about it, Zeb. His father was a carpenter, the same as ours. That afternoon, Seth rolled the cartwheel he had made to the market. So there's the cartwheel that he made, and he's going to roll it to the market. Good news! Jesus is alive! He has risen from the dead! He said to Elizabeth, who was selling fish, I can hardly believe it! I saw him carrying his cross to Galgotha Friday. Alive? asked Elizabeth. Praise God! My uncle Peter and Andrew left their fishing nets to become his disciples. We had a story in preschool about a well. There's the well and the jug 
and she's bringing it to get some water. Soon Gabe came to buy fish for his grandmother. Good news, Jesus is alive. He has risen from the dead. Elizabeth told him as she wrapped up the mackerel, some yummy fish. Did you know he once fed 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two small fish? We had that story in preschool, remember it? I heard that story, Gabe answered. There are many stories of many miracles. Remember we talked about miracles as something that only Jesus can do. He has the power to do a miracle, something that's impossible. On the way home, Gabe stopped at the well. After taking a drink, he turned to Leah. Good news, Jesus is alive. He has risen from the dead. Do you remember when we talked about living water? Lifting her clay jug, Leah smiled. Yes, I remember, she said. Last week, my brother met two of his disciples here. They followed him to our house and ate the Passover feast in our upper room. What do you think she's doing here? Does that look like our oven? No, our ovens are different, but that's how they had to cook. When Leah returned home, her sister was taking bread from the oven. Good news, good news. Jesus is alive. He has risen from the dead, Leah reported. Remember, he has asked us to help people, even by offering them a cup of cold water or a loaf of bread, Susanna stated. Susanna hurried next door with a loaf of ra fresh raisin bread. Good news! Jesus is alive. He has risen from the dead, she said when Bethany invited her in. Remember, he taught us to pray. Give us this day our daily bread. Remember the Lord's Prayer? We've been practicing that at preschool. Since it was almost evening, Bethany lit an oil lamp. Jesus also said to not hide your light under a basket but to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Remember that song we sing in preschool sometimes? She remarked to Susanna as the girls walked outside. She's got her oil lamp in her left hand there. What animal is this? donkey. That's right. It's like Jesus rode a small donkey or a colt into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. Good news. Jesus is alive. He has risen from the dead, Bethany told her cousin Abraham, who was packing his donkey to leave. Remember, he told us to let our light shine. He rode a donkey into town last week, Abraham replied. People were waving palms and shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. Remember the palm branches on Palm Sunday? Hopping onto his donkey, Abraham promised, I'll tell everyone I meet. At the top of the hill, he spotted a shepherd boy herding his flock on the road. Good news, Jesus is alive. He is risen from the dead, Abraham called out. Surely he must be the Messiah, the shepherd boy called back. He laid down his life for us. We are his sheep. What animal do we have here? Sheep, that's right. Continuing along the road, the shepherd boy passed a garden. A girl stepped out of the gate, carrying a bouquet of herbs and flowers. Good news, Jesus is alive. He has risen from the dead, he told her. I know, Sarah replied. It happened this morning right here in Joseph's garden. Just this morning, the shepherd boy asked. Yes, Sarah answered. Good news travels fast. And on the back cover, we have the empty tomb. Hope you guys have a great day. See you next time.